Okay, everybody, guess, guess what time it is. <laughs> it is biting fly trap setup time. It is uh, first, well, it's first week in June. It's probably late for me to put this out because I've seen so far about five, you know, big horse flies and they've been, one of them just about bit me and going into the house this is after work right now going into the house one landed on my arm so it's time to set up the biting fly trap for 2021 so stay tuned This is the fish hook that suspends from the middle. So I gotta be careful I don't lose that. Okay, so I have, a, I have other videos that show the construction, but you can see that basically two by fours and then two boxes that frame it. And I have a little rock there to keep it level. And this guy goes on And then this simulates the bottom of the cow. And I put a big fish hook through the tape so that the ball is suspended. Then I'll go get my uh, trap, toss, trap and toss. So stay tuned. Old trap and toss. And what I do is I take off these tabs here. I took the first one off. And I'll make sure I uh, probably use a file or something. But this needs to be flush. This comes out. That's the bait. So I'll show you how that goes. But basically taking some tin snips and being careful not to split it because I've done it before. So that's good. Get, there's three of these. And I'll just Trim this one. Okay. All right, so you have the trap and toss. You get the little bait thingy. This really stinks bad. I should be outside doing this. <laughs> Put it in here, like that. Ah, oh, man, it does stink. Get you some water, and there's a fill line. There's a fill line right here. Hopefully you can see that. And you'll want to fill it to that fill line. See the fill line? Right there. And that bag of bait 
is water soluble so that'll eventually it will um, melt so yep basically you know that's it see how the bag melts and then the, the bait kind of just disperses all right so I think we're ready and then what I like to do is put in get as much of that through the hole as I can there we go So that's over the hole pretty well and then just kind of tie it off here with this little roofing screw that's good that's it so as the wind moves the ball it looks like a cow there's a moth <laughs> and we'll see how much it catches and I'll bring you back All right, it's been up for two days. Let's see what, uh, yep, we got some flies. We're catching. Had a good rain here. It really had a really good rain and uh, it's supposed to rain the next couple days. So uh, that's good news. Don't want it to be dry for the garden. Particularly the the tobacco was starting to look a little stressed but I thought I would uh, reply to one of the comments in the uh, one of my uh, fly trap videos uh, the the viewer was wanting to know more about the dimensions of the fly trap so I'm gonna go ahead and measure and uh, show you as much as I can in case you want to build this so here we go all right, so the legs are two by fours and they are 44 inches. I'm just going to move this, make sure. Oh, they're 45 inches. So the legs are two by fours, 45 inches, and move this out a little bit. And you can see how I attach these um, right here. This is 36 inches. So it's 36 inches wide all around. That is 33 inches, this board here that attaches. So 36, 33, and of course they're uh, deck screws. And then you have about 11 inches below the top rail, the, the other, the second rail starts. And from the ground, it is 27 inches. Okay, so that should do it for this bottom part. The top part is made out of decking board. And basically I cut a deck board in half here. You can see, so basically it's it's just a one by six, I believe. And that's the same, it's 36 inches. But these, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the same, it's 33 inches. Oops, 30 inches. 30 inches, this board. This should be 36 inches, yep. And then this one to here to here is 
30 inches. Now the two by twos, the, this is a, a two by four that was cut in half and then mitered at a 45 degree angle. So the miter is going this way and it's going this way. And that distance from the top is about 23 inches. Yep, about 23 inches. And then the, the square board above is 12 inches by 12. So it's a foot going across and then there's a hole dug. So basically that's it. That's the construction right there. And there's a, the ball is suspended by a fishing line with some eye, eye hole, eyelet holes here underneath. And it's, it's designed to swing freely so that it looks like the belly of a cow. <laughs> And that's what attracts the flies, is the movement. And the behavior is they'll sting the top of it and fly directly above. That's, that's how they behave, which will make them get trapped. And then they'll eventually make their way up into this guy. So yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work. So hopefully that helps. Okay, folks, it's a couple days later, and as you can see, hopefully that focuses, you can see that we've been trapping flies and all kinds of stuff. So this is working. And I haven't been bothered by any biting flies, so looks like uh, summer... 2021 is going to be fine as far as the biting flies. All right. We're catching flies. <laughs> Gotta love it.